second grade cougars. It's Mrs. Belatesh, and now we're gonna start talking about a temperate forest. Last week, we talked about a rainforest that gets lots of rain and is mostly found near the equator. This time, we're gonna talk about the temperate forest. So, lots of plants grow in temperate forests. Summers are hot, winters are cold. Many forest trees and bushes lose their leaves in the fall. So there are some differences here. So yes, summers are hot. That's the same thing with the rainforest, right? But the key thing is winters are cold in a temperate forest. That means that most temperate forests are not gonna be near the equator. The equator gets lots of light and heat from the sun. So if it was near the equator, it would not be a temperate forest, right? Many forest trees and bushes lose their leaves in the fall. Most leaves in, plants in the rainforest do not lose their leaves. So they, can, they grow all year round. It rains a lot in the summer. Same as the rainforest. It snows in the winter. Now that's different, right? The rainforest does not have snow. There's always water for plants and animals in the forest. Blue jays and chipmunks live in the temperate forest. So it kind of reminds me of the rainforest, right? I see lots of green, but remember on the rainforest, there was a canopy where the top was so, had so much light and there was very little light on the bottom and it rained so much. So there are some differences. The key differences are the fact that in a temperate forest, it gets cold in the winter, it snows and trees and bushes lose their leaves. Okay, now let's take a look at some other animals that live in the temperate forest. Okay, so the first one I wanna look at is the striped skunk. So striped skunks live in burrows or dens that other animals have left. So they don't make their own den. That's kind of lazy, don't you think? <laughs> they eat mice, insects, bird eggs, grass, leaves, seeds, and fruits. So they eat both plants and animals. They are omnivores. Okay, they live in a temperate forest and a grassland. Their predators are bobcats, foxes, golden eagles, and coyotes. And their interesting fact, they spray, the spray of skunk is not poisonous, but it can make you feel sick and sting your eyes. Well, it might not be poisonous, but boy, it sure does stink, doesn't it? Okay, the next animal is a robin. Oh, what a beautiful little robin. Shelter, robins live in trees, bushes, gardens, and towns. They eat fruits, nuts, insects, and earthworms. So they are omnivores, right? They are a bird. They live in the temperate forest and the grassland. Their predators are foxes, skunks, raccoons, hawks, and bobcats. And their interesting fact is that robins lay three to five blue-green eggs twice a year. Oh, only twice a year. It's, they're different than my chickens. My chickens lay eggs every day. They only lay eggs in the spring, I guess. You know who else does that? My duck. Lucky duck only lays eggs in the spring. Ah, this is a sundew plant. Sundew grow in best in moist places where it is sunny. Why is that, right? Sun, they get a lot of energy from the sun. Moist places where they have a lot of rain. They make food from sunlight. This process is called photosynthesis. They also catch insects. So they must, they have like a sticky substance where they can catch insects. Okay, they are a plant. They live in a temperate forest and the wetland. Their predators are deer and snails. The interesting fact, the sundew can grow in wet places where the soil has very few nutrients. And the reason it can do that is because it can also catch insects and get nutrients from the insects. Very interesting. Okay, this is an American beech. Beech trees live in shady to sunny places. They make their food from sunlight. This process is called photosynthesis. Okay, they live in a temperate forest. That's their only habitat. 
Their predators are birds, squirrels, deer, skunks, and bears. Wood from the beech tree is almost white and it is used to make toys and furniture. Ah, so it's a natural resource, right? We use it to make things um, that we use every day. It is a natural resource, okay? Black bear, the black bear. Black bears live in a cave or a hole in a tree or the ground. They eat fruit, nuts, berries, insects, fish, eggs, honey, turtles, and small mammals. So they are omnivores. They are a mammal. They only live in a temperate forest. Their predators are brown bears and wolves. And a female black bear gives birth to two cubs in her winter den. Okay, black bears. Next one, the white-tailed deer. The white-tailed deer sleep during the day hidden under bushes and trees. Oh, that's their strategy for protecting themselves. They eat grass, fruits, nuts, leaves, and mushrooms. So they are a herbivore. They live, it's a mammal. They live in a temperate forest and also the grassland. Their pre predators are coyotes, wolves, bobcats, and bears. A female deer gives birth to one to three fawns in the spring or summer. I did not know that they could have up to three babies at a time. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, this is cool. This is the cicada. Adult cicadas live on leaves and branches. The nymphs live underground. The nymph is the um, juvenile, the child. The nymphs eat roots underground. The adults suck tree sap. It's an insect. It lives in a temperate forest, a grassland, and the desert. So it can eat, live more than one place. Its predators are rattlesnakes, birds, foxes, and skunks. Cicada nymphs come out of the ground in June. They molt one more time and then emerge as adults. The adults feed on plants by sucking the sap and juices. So they don't have teeth. They have something called a proboscis. They have a long kind of tube that comes out of their mouth or their, yeah, their mouth, and they suck up juices. Okay, fantastic. Oh, and the last animal, one of my favorite animals, is the earthworm. Earthworms live in the upper layers of the soil. They eat plants and animals that have died. So earthworms are great recyclers. They decompose plants and animals. They are an annelid. They live in the forest, wetland, grassland, and rainforest. They, their predators are birds, frogs, lizards, salamanders, raccoons, and turtles. People add earthworms to gardens to help break up the soil and add nutrients. Oh, earthworms. You're awesome. Okay, so now boys and girls, I'm gonna to talk to show you what I did to help me kind of put all of that information together about the temperate forest. Okay, so boys and girls, I now took what I learned about the temperate forest and I drew a picture about the forest. So I have lots of trees. I have, these are beech trees. I drew lots of trees and I drew some bushes as well. And then I thought back to the animals that I read about and I included them in my picture. So the first one is the skunk. I didn't I have a white crayon, so I couldn't add the stripe, but that is the skunk. I have a robin in the tree. I don't know if you can tell this, but I don't know how to draw a bird. So I always have it flying in the air. I have a sundew plant, which is down here, and the sundew plant is a carnivorous plant. It gets uh, nutrients from the soil, but also it gets uh, nutrients from insects that it catches. I have the beech trees here. I have a black bear in a cave. It's kind of snoozing away over there. I have the white-tailed deer down here and I have some antlers on it. And I have an earthworm in the soil. And finally, I have a cicada on the tree. So here is my picture of a temperate forest. And then I wrote something about the temperate forest. 
that temperate forest is different from a rainforest. In the rainforest, it is warm all year long. In the temperate forest, it gets cold and even snows. In the rainforest, plants keep their leaves all year long. In the temperate forest, many trees lose their leaves in the winter. Both the rainforest and temperate forest get plenty of rain for the plants and animals that live there. So boys and girls, I would like you to draw a picture of the forest, include some of the animals, and you can add additional animals if you know that they live in the forest, and then please write a few sentences about the temperate forest. All right. Good job, boys and girls.